Good morning, good morning. Well, it's morning here in Oz anyway. So I thought I'd just jump on and do a bit of a random live feed while I'm in my car again. I haven't done one from the car for a while. I haven't actually rolled out many lives at all, which is real, real cool because I've been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes. So as you jump on, say hi. We know the drill, I'm jumping on the recording. It is mid-morning here, so a lot of people will be at work in Oz. Uh, I just had a great call with some guys around the world again, Charlie in Alaska, in the UK, and in um, the US. Really cool way to start the day. Um, and some stuff that's been coming up lately, I'm um, just thinking about and talking to a few people, especially yesterday. It's um, a key phrase which I put in the title, enough is enough. There's so many people and I, I, I relate that or associate that with when you've had enough pain and that's when you usually come out with a phrase like that so I, I, I am interested in your feedback when you've had times like this where you've got to a point and you're like all right enough's enough I need to change or enough's enough I've had enough of this person or that person they need to go it's something that I, I really want to highlight you don't have to get to that point and this is from my own experience and it's something that it's, it became a pattern of mine for so long I'd always go past the point of you would say breaking where enough was enough before I'd even look at different options or different things to do um, so like I say this is just a prop to you to think is this a pattern that you have is this something that you you always wait to come up when you're just so frustrated or so upset or so down or so depressed or so lost how are you Julie hello everyone who's jumping on where then you're like all right enough's enough let's let's do something different and you know what happens and and this is the thing one or two things can happen number one you get motivated motivated like anything and you take some serious action in a totally different direction or you just show enough's enough up there and you lose your shit and you get even more unhappy or more depressed or more upset or whatever it is with your situation and you make it worse and that's understandable, like I say, I, I talk about this from my own experience and it's something that comes up a bit now, but something that I, I talk to, when I'm talking to people like about their situation or where they're at or are they looking at something new or different and they say, yeah, I've been in that position before, I'm like, what did you do? What did you do? And they're like, oh, I just got better. I just, I went on a, I went on a break. Or I had a weekend away, and it just got better. And yeah, it was all good again. I said, did it come up again? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, well, it's a bit of a pattern that you really, really doesn't serve you, isn't it? Isn't that something where if you're waiting till shit's so bad that you're going to make a decision, or you're just going to have a break for it, and it comes up again? Wouldn't you want to change that? Wouldn't you want you do something different? And it's funny. It strikes me how people don't think that way. It's funny how a short-term break or um, something that's not really a, a change, they don't want to work on it. They don't really want to change it. And they don't understand why they're not where they want to be in life. And like I say, I associate it with being in pain. And like a lot of my story is like, I waited till I had so much shit going on in here, and it was in here, that I had to change because I thought I was crazy. I, I was losing the plot and I was like emotional all the time for no reason and I, I, I probably use that phrase it might have been in them words but enough was enough and but then I decided to make a clear change like a really drastic change and I want to say the point of this live today is just have a look at yourselves guys have a look at your situation and if you keep coming up with this it might be once every six months it might be once a week might be every second day at work or whatever you're doing and you keep saying enough's enough I've had enough of this person I've had enough of this life I've had enough of this job I've had enough of these emotions coming up I've had enough of this why I react I've had enough of my anger enough's enough but what do you do at that point that's what I want you to bring attention to what do you do at that point have you got something that you usually do that takes you away or shifts your focus or have you got something something there that has worked in the past but you're too afraid to do it again or it was such a drastic change that people might judge you so many different angles that you can look at this guys so many different angles and it's like I say it's if you're not asking the questions if you're not asking questions of your situation or yourself what are you doing 
It's like, really, what are you doing? You, you're just existing. You're just, you're just, you're dealing with mediocre and you're accepting it. I, I don't find that acceptable. I like I say, I'm, I'm not someone who's always making change. I've got fears come up. I've got, I've got things that worry me that that hold me back. I've got, I've got stuff that comes up. If I need to make a drastic change, well, that little voice comes up in my head. And it's all whole shit, dude. This is probably too drastic. I don't think you want to do this. But what I found is I go back to it. I had a lot of emotional stuff. I had a lot of anger. All this built up inside. And the way I changed it was to do something drastic. Was to look at my career. Not from a money sense, guys. I want you to get this clear. Um, I'd love to get some feedback on this too. It wasn't a change for the money because I was making bloody good money. I had to make a drastic change in, in my environment. I had to make a drastic change in the way I looked at life. I, 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 on an emotional level, I had to do personal work. So I sacrificed the money, which is backwards for a lot of people. A lot of you people out there and a lot of people I talk to are in a job they don't like and they're not earning enough money. So the change they want to make is to make more money. Me, I had to make a change to work on my personal shit. And you know what? If you had a look at your situation, if you are in that place you don't like and it's related to money, it's not the money situation that you need to work on, guys. It's your personal growth. It's what's going on in here and in here that you need to work on. You need to find what you're good at. You need to, to learn to trust your, your heart again or follow your heart again. That's where the change comes. And that's what people are so afraid of. That's what the drastic measure you have to take or the drastic change is. Notice that it's not the income you're earning that is holding you back. It's the shit that goes on in your inner world that keeps you in a place that doesn't make you happy, that doesn't give you fulfillment, that is holding you back. So I always ask myself, I'm like, how can I highlight this to people more? Or how can I help people with this more to see that? And you know what? I can't. I can't tell someone that this is what it is. I can come and do a live feed. I can get on a call on him. But I can't say, hey, it's not the job you're in. Because people, you, you get closed off out there when it looks at other opportunities. Like, no, that's this or that's that. You just want to make money off me. No. Guess what? If you're in a job you don't like, it's nothing to do with what... You're earning, it's nothing to do with all that stuff. It's why you're keeping yourself there. It's because you're fucking scared to do something totally different that actually might be what you truly want to do deep inside. And you won't tap into that because you won't take the risk of doing the personal work. I hope you're caught on that. I went on a bit of a roll there. That just came from somewhere else. Hello to everyone news jumping on. It's like a mid-morning drive live feed into sunny Kansas. It's a beautiful day here at the moment too. It's like 22 degrees, blue skies, bit of a southerly wind, t-shirt and shorts weather just to rub it in. So any questions guys hit me up, throw it in the comments. It wasn't really a big feedback live feed, it's just stuff that like I say, I when I do talk to a few people and something consistent comes up, I feel like I've got to share it. I feel like I do. So just to recap, if you're in a place in life you're not happy with, and I've related it to the income you're earning or the money you're earning. Have a look at that. Yes, you, you wanna find somewhere where you're gonna earn more income and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's cool, that's okay, of course you do. But, if you really have a look at your situation, ask yourself why you're keeping yourself there. What have you gotta work on personally to be able to make decisions or change to trust yourself more? It is a terrific winter's day here, Aaron. It is fantastic. So that's the question I'd be asking, guys. If you're not where you want to be in life, any area, don't look at the external. Don't say, fuck, I'm just not getting paid enough because I'm not in the job I like. Like I say, that makes sense. But look at the internal work you've got to do to get into that place you want to be. Then you have a look at, all right, I've worked on the external world. I trust myself more. I've got more confidence. I've built up that. I'm listening to my intuition more. I'm taking, making choices based on the first voice I hear or, or what I'm truly connected with or aligned with. Then you have a look at, all right, now that I trust myself more, what big decisions can I make to change my career? What big decisions can I make to change my environment? What big decisions can I make to, to move away from the family that bring me down all the time or the, 
the circle of friends that bring me down. Then you can do that. So it all comes back to you internally. Everything comes back to internally. Your, your exterior world is just simply a reflection of your internal world. So if you're not getting paid enough, guess what? You don't value yourself enough. It's as simple as that. I'm going to say, this is what I've done a lot of work on. I continue to do a lot of work on. It's something that's really, really big in our five-week intuitive breakthroughs program. Simple as that. Trusting your intuition more. Trusting that. Getting the breakthroughs on your internal world. Because that's where change happens. Change doesn't happen out here, guys. Doesn't happen out here. Happens in here. Without you really even knowing it. Until you see the physical appearance of it or the physical result of it in the external world. How are you, Belinda? I'm going to get going now because I can talk about this stuff all day and I'm not here just to talk. I'm here to just make you think, here to make you ask yourself questions and have a look at where you're at and then make some change. Change is cool. All right, road's getting bumpy. Focus on the road. Have an amazing day, guys. I will talk to you next time.